Here's a question for you. What would you do if an asteroid were headed toward Earth? Well, just this week, there were reports that NASA was tracking a bus-sized asteroid flying past our planet. And it's not the only space rock astronomers are watching. Chris Van Cleve introduces us to so-called asteroid detectives and planetary defenders who are trying to protect everyone here on Earth from potential disaster. This is the front line of planetary defense. The Lowell Discovery Telescope in northern Arizona is one of a handful around the world searching the night sky, hunting for asteroids that could potentially threaten planet Earth. We can see orders of magnitude fainter than you would be able to with your naked eye. Since December, astronomer Nick Moskovitz had this telescope trained on asteroid 2024 YR4. At the time, it was predicted to come uncomfortably close to Earth in about eight years. It rose to a threat level that we just have not seen very often. We knew we had to monitor it and try to understand everything we could about it. So not just where it is, but what is it made of, um, what size is it. You kind of become an asteroid detective. That's absolutely right. It's like a blur. On a computer right. screen, it's just a speck of light tens of millions of miles away. But astronomers calculated it could be between 130 and 300 feet wide it would cause significant regional damage if it were to impact over a populated area. You're talking about wiping out a city? I'm talking about wiping out a city, yeah. In 2013, a smaller asteroid just 60 feet across exploded over Russia, injuring more than 1,600 people. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid big enough to wipe out an entire city crashed to Earth in what is now northern Arizona. It left this crater, three quarters of a mile wide, 600 feet deep. Back then, there was nothing humanity could do to stop an asteroid. That's changed. And liftoff. In 2022, a first-of-its-kind test, NASA intentionally crashed a spacecraft into a small asteroid, nudging it just enough to change its trajectory. NASA's acting planetary defense officer, Kelly Fast. It's the only natural disaster that we could potentially prevent. And if you were to find uh, an impact threat to Earth, you know, well enough advance, then you wouldn't have to deflect it much for it to be able to miss the Earth in the future. 2024 YR4 won't need to be deflected. It's now expected to miss Earth. But astronomers believe 14,000 undiscovered asteroids large enough to cause damage could still be out there. Find them before they find you. Uh, the sooner you find them, the more options you have for uh, deflecting potentially hazardous asteroids. Which is why Moskovitz keeps scanning the night skies. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve outside Flagstaff, Arizona. Don't we have enough to worry about <laughs> right I'm now? I was thinking that, Nate. <laughs> An asteroid? I mean... I look at all these things very differently now, as you might imagine. <laughs> also, but I like what he said, find them before they find I you. I agree, but we only got the one guy and a couple of his friends. I think we need a bigger <laughs> operation here. <laughs> need to pour more money into yeah. that. You're right about that, Tony.